everyone, I'm Holly and I am testing some fragrances today and for this one I am going to do the Fruity Rings from Nature's Garden. Now I have used this and I use it off and on for wax melts and such but I have not used that in soap oh in probably 10 years and I remember that it was very beigey and that's pretty much what it says online. Now, a lot of people say that it doesn't discolor. So if you would have seen my uh, Fruity Loop Sea Salt Soap, you saw that that non-discoloring fragrance turned dark brown. So they said to try this one, so I thought we'll just give it a test run. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna go beige, but that's still better than the uh, dark brown. So I have some goat milk that I'm going to put in first and I'm going to get that blended in and now I'm going to put in the lye solution and I did mix this up a few days ago so I'm going to strain out the bits And then I'm just going to give this a little blend up too. Now I want this to be fairly easy to work with. So I'm not going to do any more than that. Okay, so we had a I had a brief intermission. I made a rookie mistake and did not make sure I had enough room on this memory card. So, yeah. So, what we're going to do is add in the fragrance just to see what happens. Hopefully, it won't accelerate anything. It's just a test, so it won't be the end of the world. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it out and just going to just kind of wing it, see what the measurements end up being. Of course, I always end up doing a rainbow with the Fruity Loops. Just being a, a drippy dripper. And then I do want some for like a white. left in there so I guess we're going to have more white than anticipated so it might do a little different design than I originally planned so into this main one looks like my camera has veered I think some of my good luck is running out today I have messed and messed and messed with this camera I'm just using some winter white mica. I thought that would be kind of nice to just work with it instead of some titanium dioxide. My spatula is, seems to be entirely too large here. Okay, so I'm going to go backwards here. I'm going to put in some purple. That is purple vibrance. And that is electric blue. 
We've got some green vibrance. We have some orange marmalade. Yellow vibrance here. And some Queen of Hearts and Hollywood mixed together. We're doing all right here, thank goodness. My recipe does play nice most of the time. I took about, oh, I don't think it was five minutes, but it was getting close to being about five minutes messing around trying to get stuff off my memory card. It was so slow. So I do want it to be a little bit thicker because if it isn't a hint thicker, then it's going to just all mishmash together and we don't want that. So we're doing all right. really cool design on Instagram and I think it was Clover Soap Works. Man, they do amazing, amazing rainbows. And so I thought I'd generally try the pour itself. So it was just, you know, kind of a, we're going to pour it into the pitcher business, probably at an angle, but that's not what I did. And so we'll just see how this goes. I'm not going to worry about scraping everything, I don't think, for now. And so I definitely want to give a shout out for this cool design. If it works out. <laughs> I may not have the touch. And I don't know if this is like a technique that everybody knows about and I'm just like behind the behind the times here or what I don't spend much time in groups or anything not much of an interest to me so it's getting a little bit thick it would have been a bit nicer if I had not had to dilly daddle some time away And I'll try to get the rest of the white put in here. So this is really pretty looking. I don't want to move it too much, but isn't that nice? Alright, so let me think of how I want to do this. I want you guys to be able to see as well. So, I kind of have to go a little bit of an angle so that I can reach it. So hopefully this won't mix up too weirdly. I just love the process of um, the colors just all kind of coming out as they come out as opposed to switching back and forth from pouring with different colors. It's pretty. I don't know if you can really see that. So, I didn't see a lot of the like orange pouring out. I guess we'll have to see how that goes. And I am going to go ahead and put their stress on Just 
still some white in the bottom. I actually have quite a bit of soap left in these little pitchers. So I'm just gonna kind of zigzag on. Let's see, maybe I can move myself. But I'm just gonna go back and forth like so. Oh, this is pretty. So fun to do something different like this. I'm so used to working in the bigger batches. It's not as e easy to do these fun designs. That's cool. Isn't that pretty? I love it. All right, so here we have the batch of Fruit Loops. I think it's gonna be a little bit short because I have quite a bit of soap left, but that's how it goes for this time. All right, I'll see you back here for the cut. We are back to the Fruity Loops and it looking gorgeous. Have a little bit of ash and you can start to see the discoloration. Well, you can see it. You don't have to start. Just, you know, you can see it. And it is kind of that beigey color, but you know what? It works. Look at the bottom. Isn't that pretty? So I really don't know how this swirl has turned out. It's beautiful but it's gonna be fun to see the inside. This was the end and then the next cut in. So, and actually really pretty and it smells good. So I think I'll be going back to the Nature's Garden Fruity Loops. I think it's called Fruity Rings on their website. Okay. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love this top. I probably should steam it, but I'm not going to because it's just a test batch. And it's been a couple of weeks. I don't know if I mentioned that already. So it has had time to do the discoloration. And it actually looks all right. Even the colors had it, the fragrance, and they're doing all right. It's just a very fine discoloration. So. As of so far, I guess I'm putting these about a mile away. We might as well look at them a little bit. So far, the swirl is not wowing me inside. But it is a cool look. And for a smaller batch, it's an easier way to get a quick rainbow swirl going on. I don't know how that would work for me with the huge batches. I already do something similar with my Sweetly Clean. You've seen that, the rainbow version. I always just kind of pile all the colors. I, I pour them out into six pitchers. I get all the colors done. I pour it all back into the, the pot and then that's how I pour the Sweetly Clean. So kind of the same general idea. I feel like my purple is lost. I'm not sure what happened to my purple. There's a little bit there, but it's just a teeny tiny bit. It may 
we may get more towards the end I'm not sure I just think it was more fluid and kind of you know because it was the first real color in it kind of swirled out you can tell that the last colors the pink and the orange and the yellow were the last ones and they were a little bit more globular at the end so they're a little bit more pronounced right in the middle but it's still super oh my goodness I would be happy if I made every batch of this soap like this <laughs> what I may have to do is just try making it in this um, in the loaf molds I don't know still really cool so pretty super pretty so this will definitely make a great sea salt soap fragrance I'm definitely gonna have to try that again but of course I'll have to remake all of the colored sugar or salt soaps that I top up and put inside I <laughs> will finally get that creamy white soap and with the colors inside it so definitely a winner so good and I just can't get over this top swirl I've always admired it but I've never really done it much because I don't make batches in just like a loaf very often and so it's a little a little different um, way of doing it when you're working with a, just a single loaf it's a little easier done oh huh here's the purple there you are so there we have the beautiful fruity loops new fragrance I'm totally going to be using I always do these and then I'm like my thumbs are like whoa <laughs> anyway it looks great and I'm so so pleased with it all right guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one